guys, it's Akia from December's Divine. We are concluding the Divine Masculine and Karmic Situation reading, okay? Just a quick recap. King of Pentacles crowned the Karmic and the Divine Masculine reading, okay? Instability, not grounded, power struggle, loss of money, etc. Okay. There was lots of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, all over the reading, okay? Um, right off the bat, Divine Masculine, overall energy, strength in reverse, um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, just feeling like a total loss of stability of money um of the lack of strength in the situation um the karmic um overall energy was five of cups she was you know he turned down her cups of love she was still determined to um pursue this um how she felt about herself she was in the hangman um of the situation knowing that she had to let it go but um still contemplating um moving forward despite how she feels despite how the divine masculine treated her um she's invested in the situation and she's determined to continue to move forward in this um divine masculine how he felt about himself was that he got the um the uh, page of pentacles reversed that he could not manifest that he was being you know like unable to move forward in any projects that he was blocked how he felt about the karmic okay i wanted one card three cards came out that um it was the um two of cups in reverse it was the emperor in reverse um that he was that she was um preventing him from manifesting his um true divine counterpart that he did not want um to offer his cup of love to her and that she's constantly trying to you know um attain this ace of cups with him but she's not divine and he knows that she is not his divine feminine and that this connection is null and void okay how the karmic felt about divine masculine i'm sorry about yeah the divine masculine that it was the lovers in reverse so that led me to asking the last um question which was how the divine masculine felt about his divine feminine and he got the Hierophant, I'm sorry, he got the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo, Energy, and he got the Five of Swords. Hermit, Reverse, and the Five of Swords. So Divine Masculine feels that... He knows that he has a lot of work to do to prove to his Divine Feminine that he has changed. He fears that she will never forgive him and that she won't be understanding and that they will not be successful in a union together. He feels that he was selfish and then that has caused tension between him and his divine feminine, that he was entitled and that he knows deeply that he betrayed her and and he would love more than anything to to change that but as of now he is he's stuck he's still reeling from that scorpio moon full moon energy and he's really trying to deal with all of the shadow sides of himself right now
with the hermit in reverse, he's trying to let her know that he knows he has taken the time to reflect on everything. He's looked inward, he's found truth and wisdom. He's gonna try to rely on himself and his intuition and the work that he's done thus far to make decisions about her in the future and not rely on other people. He's sorry that he let the world distract him and that he also didn't protect her and that he feels foolish and he's isolating himself right now and he's withdrawn but he very much so wants to communicate but right now it's difficult how does the karmic how does the karmic feel about the divine feminine how does the karmic feel about the divine feminine how does the karmic feel about the divine feminine whoa they just flew out Obviously, she feels a lot. Wow. If you notice, just about every single card on the Divine Masculine side came out in reverse except the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And that's when I asked... wow it's just wow <laughs> every single card and wow interesting how the karmic feels about the divine feminine king of pentacles reversed i'm not surprised She thinks the Divine feminine, feminine is superficial. And that she stays to herself. She definitely wants to send dark energy toward the Divine, divine Feminine. She wants to, because upright, the Queen of Pentacles is abundance and it's love and it's and it's um you know um fertility and um empathy and just manifestation but she wants to she obviously wants to be the divine feminine but in this case she is wishing or sending um darkness toward her manifestation and darkness toward her abundance in any way possible. Just want to see what the mind, body, and spirit tarot has to say about this particular Queen of Pentacles because this is a new deck to me, and I'm just I'm just curious as to what their story is <clears throat> the karmic feels He feels threatened by the Divine Feminine, by a potential loss or other danger, that the Divine Feminine is threatening her security and her stability. She feels like the Divine Feminine is the cause of the fading connection. 
to her divine masculine to the divine masculine but she does not realize that the divine masculine and the divine feminine have belonged to each other for many 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 lives before she was even thought about there is someone for you but it's not this particular divine masculine karmic sorry The divine, I mean, the karmic is in constant anxiety and worry over the divine feminine. And it's, it's bizarre. Because I'm sure the divine feminine is just focusing on herself. She got the Four of Pentacles and the Magician. <laughs> when I asked how she felt about the Divine Masculine, the love was reversed. But when we asked her how she feels about the Divine Feminine, we get the Magician. And the, the Four of Pentacles. Two very favorable cards, actually. The Four of Pentacles is stability. She feels that the divine, the divine feminine is stable and that she's in control and that she influences the divine masculine. And that if the divine masculine goes toward her, then it's gonna be a secure thing. And she's gonna do whatever she can do to stop it. She also got the magician. This is um Mercury energy. Um Virgo Gemini. The magician connects the spirit to the physical. It represents as above, so below. He's the master of all four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. He is telling you that you hold all the tools to manifest your desires into reality. Creativity, skill, focus, and desire are the forces he reveals to you in order to accomplish any goal. So the karmic believes that the divine, the divine feminine is everything. <laughs> that she's creative. That she has skill. That she is focused. That she sees all. And she is threatened by the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine is confident. She takes action. And she's accomplished. And nothing can get past her. I'm just reading the cards. That's how the karmic feels about the Divine Feminine. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to do outcome. Universe. What? is the outcome for the karmic and divine masculine situation. God, Senate Masters, Archangels, Universe. 